Um, moving forward, um, for many years now, um, it seems that there's been a, a corporate takeover in America. Um, mm-hmm. and, I, and my question to you is, um, it's a two-parter. Sure. Um, Hillary, if she had been ad- elected, would it be any different? And mm-hmm. the second part to that is, do you think just maybe that uh, by electing Donald Trump, it's pushing us in the right direction faster. Well, as far as the corporate takeover goes, it, it's real. I mean, if you go to any strip mall in America, they all look the same. And they're all owned by the same people. You know, I mean, that's the one thing that always blows my mind. I and mean, we travel all over the country and every city just looks the same. It's the same shop in every city. And that means that the, the profits in every local community are all leaving that community and all going to a very small group of people who own everything. So the corporate takeover is real, you know, and that's just one small example of it. Um, the corporate takeover under Hillary wouldn't be any different than the corporate takeover Trump with Trump. I mean, I think that, you know, Trump is not, it's interesting because a lot of people see Donald Trump as this kind of anti-establishment person because he didn't approach politics in the traditional way that it's been approached by the mainstream parties over the last, you know, half century. But Donald Trump is as, mainstream and as status quo as there is. I mean, he, he might as well be living on Wall Street. You know, that, those are his friends. That, those are his people. You know, corporate America is Donald Trump. So people would think he's some kind of anti-establishment person. He's a billionaire. I mean, they really need to rethink that uh, that analysis. <laughs> um, my issue with uh, what I do understand is on a personal level, just from witnessing it, um, I, I realize that there are people under Donald Trump who are being sacrificed and hurt right now that, I, that I, tr- I truly don't believe would have been hurt under Hillary Clinton in the same way. And I, you know, I was not, I'm not a fan of Hillary Clinton in any way. But, you know, I don't believe that under Hillary Clinton, ICE agents would be breaking into the homes of undocumented residents of the United States and literally tearing families apart. Um, you know, I, I don't think the persecution that's happening right now to Muslims would, would be happening. I think that African Americans would have a fighting chance at, uh, at at having their grievances of having two African Americans every day being killed by police. They would at least have a, a foothold where they could start from. With Donald Trump, it's actually going backwards. There, there's there, it, there's not even a foothold. There is no steps. You know. Um, so this idea that we need like this shock therapy to make things rush forward better, that's a really hard one for me to, to get behind because I see and I know some of the people that are being affected by what's happening with Donald Trump. You know, like it, the trans community, like there are people that, you know, that are documented who just felt so hopeless under Donald Trump, like, people killed themselves. I mean, it's, that's a real thing, and those are real lives. So, I believe that we could have made progress without having to do it this way. I've seen progress made over just the lifetime of this ban. Um, you know, with 30 years of environmental regulations being rolled back in just a number of months with Scott Pruitt, I don't think that would have happened under Hillary Clinton. So, you know, it, it's sort of like 
it, that's a really, really hard question for me to, to answer. And I, I can't honestly say that I know, you know, mm -hmm. uh, all I know is a lot of people have been hurt. A lot of progress has been lost. And I know that this is where we are. This is the hand we have been dealt. And this is what we have to address. Now. So, you know, whether Hillary would have been better or not, I guess at this point, it's kind of a, it's kind of a moot point. Mm -hmm. You know, it, it, it comes down to the fact that this is where we are. So it, it's time for us to, to get to get on our feet and, and start pushing back. <laughs>